Yeah, have a good performance. Um, we said before the game, you know, that senior players playing for a reason. They're there to get, you know, some matches under the belt. And uh, I thought they were excellent. They worked their pants off, and you know, it keeps the full squad up to up to speed in uh, in minutes on the pitch. But I thought overall we played we played very well. We passed it forward. We kept hold of it, and uh, possibly could have had a few more. And looking at it, obviously conditions were really awkward, weren't they, first half? Well, it's rained again today, so it's uh, it's very wet. Groundsman have done a great job to get us out there, to be honest, and uh, and that pitch needs a rest now. But it was it was difficult conditions. It was windy, rain all over the place, uh, but we coped extremely well. And uh, our two centre backs, Perva and uh, and Van, were excellent. Yeah, because defensively you didn't have a lot to do. What you did 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 very well indeed. Yeah, and and that's the danger in games like that. You know the concentration levels, but they were they kept everything going. So I was very pleased with them. And going down the other end, obviously Stokes with a goal. What do you make of his performance today? I thought he did well. Um, he uh, we we played him in a different position, played him uh, slightly wider, but he uh, um, I thought he was uh, excellent today. You mentioned the the, 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 oh, the lads in the first team squad needing game time as well. Is, is there going to become a decision when oh, time you've got to make a decision about the younger lads whether they start going out on loan and getting more experience that way? Well, of course we do. You know, it's um, uh, they've got to get games. Uh, inevitably, uh, we'd like them to play with us, but uh, you know we've got to see what happens through the Christmas period and see where the first team are coming out of the uh, Christmas period because you know it's a tricky period, it's a tricky time for everybody, and we just hope that everybody stays free of injury and uh, and we don't have too many problems. You've so seen Louis Coyle and Billy Peacock Farrell; they're involved in the first team squad now, and that must give up to them as well moving forward. Yeah, I think somebody said there's seven or eight uh, homegrown players involved in the first team setup. By, uh, on Sunday, so it's uh, it's great for us. When that decision is made, will that be you speaking to Steve, or will it be Steve's call as to whether some of these young guys go out on loan? Um, I think it'll be uh, discussed at that level, and uh, we'll see if that's a possibility or not. Looking at it, obviously you've been involved in the development of a lot of young kids coming through the ranks. How important is it? Do you feel that they do get some exposure to first team football? It's 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 at the right time, uh, you know. Uh, Yep, league football is good uh, if you're ready for it. Um, so we we'll take every case on its merits, and then uh, the discussions will take place. Yeah, and just finally, a word on Jordan Bataka. Obviously, he's getting used to the English game, so the more minutes he gets, the better for him. Yeah, I thought after the first ten or fifteen minutes, he settled into it and and did what he did what he was meant to do, which was run around, and uh, you know he he caused havoc in the second half. You know, but what he did was get some leg work in, which is very important.